Hey you guys! So, I missed a day. I was going to record yesterday, but my camera is being dumb and it's being dumb still, so I have to use this webcam. So, here we go. The dream happened yesterday's last night slash morning, so however you want to see that. And so, what happened was that it took place at the restaurant and I don't exactly remember all that happened because the dream of last night is so much more but um it happened at the restaurant we were like hanging out there something like that the restaurant as my family's restaurant if y'all don't know that um we were coming out of the alleyway the back door alleyway because that's normal for us and it was my dad and I we were walking to the car and all of a sudden I see this black like train thing it's like four of the little tank things that it has and the front one has a face and it was like it's just slithering in like um kind of like a cartoon would because what happens that it doesn't move like a train would it like literally slithered and it was creeping me out it was super creepy and I kept staring back at it and it was following me and it made like a little snake way like how you would on snake if you pass by a dot and then you try to make it back and it it's like coming right at me and so I run to the car but the car is like a black truck which is weird because I don't have a black truck or know anybody that has a black truck and I get to the passenger side and right as I hit the handle somebody grabs my shoulder and then that's when I wake up and it's like oh scary but you guys, I really need to tell you about the dream I had last night slash this morning, however you want to look at it. So, in real life status right now, real life, in my ethnic studies class, my teacher always emphasized about, oh, you know, China is so close to us. You don't realize it because you always see the map of the United States over here, and then China is way over here. But there's this other side of the Pacific Ocean, and it's like right there. So, dream status. In my dream, I had a map of the United States right here, but then China's right here. And it was like supposed to be a point that the professor, the teacher made but it didn't quite match because it was like a different map, it was like the regular map and so what he decided to do was he decided to take us on like a field trip kind of a thing and so what ended up happening is I was with my class and we were sitting on ice and it was like passing through the ocean pretty much it was like sidewalk but we we're on ice and we we're just floating there crossing the pacific ocean and it was like really cold and then we we're passing by russia hey russia and then it was like we we're getting close to china but we got to really thin ice and so we decided to turn back around and go back to the united states and then when that was over, I went to the restaurant and then I saw my dad in the back room where we usually wash vegetables and stuff, make salads. And I said, hey dad, I just got back from Antarctica. Because <laughs> I guess it was that cold, it was Antarctica status and it was the best way to describe it. And so... I was telling him like all the details apparently but then my dream kind of glazed over it and so then I follow him and we go into the kitchen area and then my grandpa's cooking and then my grandma's doing her restaurant stuff and then I'm like okay I'm gonna go now but then before I go I see some fried rice and I'm like oh, I gotta take some of that and so I'm filling up my my container of fried rice and then my mom comes and then she's like you're back 
and you you're you're already ready to go home but we're busy we're, we we can't take you home and then my dad's like I can take her home and it's like no I can drive myself I got this I got here by myself and then I'm still packing up the fried rice and then my grandpa says to me saying you're leaving already come give me a hug say goodbye you know and it's like I'm not ready yet but I give him a hug and then I'm still packing the fried rice and then when I'm done I go over to my grandma and then I say goodbye and hug her and then go over to my grandpa and say goodbye and hug him again and then I leave the um, back door alleyway and then um, like in the alleyway there's a fence and then there's Bank of America drive through right there and that's where we usually park and in my dream apparently there's a lot of people parked there and then by the time I went around the fence a lot of people left and so it's like that's cool it's free free room for me and so when I get to my car I see people in there and I'm like what the heck why are there people in my car and it happens to be Quinn and Eric in my back seat and then somebody else in the passenger seat. I, I'm not exactly sure who it was because it changes. It was a guy and I think it was Colin but I'm not sure. But that person changes later on and I start yelling at them saying what are you doing here? Why, why are you in my car? And they're like, oh, oh, Christina, we needed a ride, and we just saw your car here, and thought, hey, you'll eventually come back. And then I started yelling at them, and then they're like, whoa, whoa, and Colin leaves, Eric leaves, and then Quinn's just there saying, come on, Christina, I thought you had my back, blah, 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 words, 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 and then I yell at him, and then he starts to go off, and then I put my stuff down, and then I'm leaning against the car, and then I'm like, Quinn do you need a ride? And he's like, yeah. And then I tell him to get in. And then next thing I know, I look and then Eric is already back giving me the smirks like, that he gives me sometimes that he already knew. And so he's back and then um, passenger person's back and then I, I get in the car and then I'm like, where do you need to go? And so we head off to like how I would head off to Safeway in normal real life and so it's past two stoplights and then at the second one you take a left and um he told me oh it's right here it's right here Quinn told me and then I'm like, where? And then apparently I passed it, and then I turn around, and then I park behind this row of cars, and then he gets out, and Eric gets out, and then obviously Colin gets out because he disappears. And then I'm like, oh, what do I do? And so I get out of the car, and then I go over to this orange building because apparently it got repainted as orange. Bright orange and I see that Quinn and Eric go in it's like fine I'll wait for you guys and then I see this this girl that's outside and then she's like hey are you here for the pills and like what pills no and then she just shoves like these blue pills into my little hand right here and then um it's like I don't want these pills and then somehow she grabs my hand and she shoves it into my mouth um, the, all the pills I mean and it's like I don't want these pills what are these pills they're blue pills and um, she made me like bite down on them it was disgusting and then Quinn and Eric and apparently Nikki joins us now um, they come out and then I speak spit all the pills out and then it's like let's go and then they're happy because they got their pills apparently and then um, I got into my car and then we drove away and we went like the long way back to my house where it was like um you're taking suicide hill what I call suicide hill it's not actually suicide and it's like 50 miles per hour 
But what happens is that because of the blue pills, I start to get all jerky and I'm not in control of the car anymore. And it, it, I see like some, my headlights, like it flickers and then it goes out and then it pans away to like somebody watching us and I'm that person now and I see that the car crashes and then it's like big flip it's like all over the place and it's just awful car accident and then next thing I know I'm at Best Buy and it's crowded like Superman status when they're all concerned about sp um, about Superman being in the hospital and um, I'm just there and it's like what do I do people know about the accident and then I'm just here and then I start walking around and then I start running and then I wake up and it's like that's intense so those are my dreams you guys see you later